and back so soon we are. Not more strumpets, <laughs> the game says. Okay. Repair the port. There's a Move out of my way. Life in the care. There's a water lead too. Over there. Try that or go over there. I know some people don't really like the whole exploring, they just want to see quest after quest after quest. But that, that's really not my play style. I try to explore, do all kinds of things, even if it slows down the game a lot. So I want to see as much as possible. Like that little red house. I don't want to go to that broken down castle. Alright. Where's, where's that boat at? There it is. Nothing underwater. No plants, no nothing. Alright, sorry, Night Fryer quest. Be on a hold while I go. Boat. And I try not to uh, also quick travel or fast travel as often as possible. I try to avoid it because I just like seeing the scenery and stuff and you know what you're gonna run into. Run into all kinds of little side quests and stuff that I would have missed otherwise. Now of course it's not a constant I would definitely uh, fast travel from time to time. I forgot what word I was going to use. Time to take some killer well and go down. Which one of these is killer well? Why, honey, pheromone, full moon. Is that it? Is that it? There we go. Ah, turn. Don't turn. Oh my god. I would have drowned without the killer whale. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Fucking trapped. Meteorite. Time rain. Skull. Gonna loot everything in here. Just turn around, give me these chests, and is there no up here? Okay. Now I suppose I can get into, it doesn't look like there's a way out up there, so. this destroyed castle. I'm assuming I have to go all the way around though. Is 
I say it was below us? Oh, shit, I have to go all the way back over and move this. I'm really annoyed. Fisherman. Beaver, booger me. Into the castle. Or prison. Yeah, okay. That makes more sense. Don't mind me, guys. Out of my way. Nope, I guess I can't go in. Alright. Into the water. This way, Let's see if there's anything that's going on on this side of the prison. Clean out all the plants while we're here. Yeah, okay, that's up there. Eh, this is close enough. I guess I'm in there in a second. And just enjoy the sounds and scenery. Dropping from the sky, that's the first. Who knows? Maybe a whole bovine downpour. Bovine downpour, foolish no. <laughs> what would the clouds have to be like to carry that much cattle? <laughs> it isn't think about it. Oh, that's hilarious. Strawny, gray haired, ill favored. Pass a glass, fun. Welcome, point. Snow nice. White. Wish to look over my goods? Oh, never mind. No Gwen. Mind I if I glance at your stock? What do you got here? Dye suit. Solution dies. Oh, hey, Magic Cordial. Got two of those. And buy one die because I don't know what those are for, but I don't want to have to go back. In the meantime, sell things. I have the armor and shit I like. Oh, yellow dye. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, you can dye things. Um... Much as this as we can. Because we're not rolling in the money. Ah, there we go. And this guy is rolling in the money. Red dye. See ya. And yellow dye. How do I die? You can use dyes to change the color of your armor. Remember, you can only change the color of items belonging to which your gear sets. You can use the preview option to see how to die. Press E. Anytime you can use. Okay, so we want to. Okay, well, that's not. That's not uh, no. Hmm. Make sure, you know. We'll change that. His pants to yellow. His blue and yellow looks good together. I did. Oh, that was notice good. board. Challenge, I hereby announce Lady Vivian D. Tabris. 
is the most beautiful woman in the world. Any man who disagrees with me. I'm going to go see if I can find him. Dawn's first crack. To all those who have journeyed from lands far, far away and have no place to call their own in our fair deep chief, worry not, I have rooms left in the village of Brandon Carts. My prices are very fair. I won't fleece you like those other scoundrels in Big Bear. I can also offer fresh air and a view of Caroberta Woods out the window. There's nothing short of breathtaking. Humble request. I've lost my fingers in the sawmill on the edge of the... <laughs> Take pity on a poor cripple and bring me nourishment from time to time. I thank you. Damn, they work. Monster of Tufo, I hereby announce the following. The vineyard known as Tufo, which is counted among my possessions, is farmed throughout the world for the superb melon block. Melon block? Block? Crap, I've known this word, but I'm not. Wow. Whatever. It produces, is beset by some monstrosity. In night, any knight who tracks the beast down and slays it, will not only prove his honor, but also earn a reward of not insignificant size. Therefore, hear my call, all brave and valorous men of Toussaint, make haste to Tufo and converse with the undersigned about the contract. Mysterious plummeting cattle, <laughs> urgently needed. Specialist used used to the strange and extraordinary. Must be fast and reliable. Sorcerer, druid, or witcher preferred. Problem involves cattle falling out of the sky at night and must be cleared up fast. <laughs> Orc must resume at quarry soon as we're up against falling cattle. It's probably like a weaver in or something. We're up against the tight deadlines. For details, see Foreman. You go okay. your way. I'll I'll go we'll play this point game. Ugh. I don't know how long I've been recording. We'll play this point game. Stop it and start again. Greetings, sir. What is it you need? on my mind all day. What kind? Red? White? Rosé? Dry? Semi-dry? Sweet? How heavy? What appellation? Mm, I'll need to think about it. That tell me something about the area, would you? Hmm, what's there to tell? That the master of these lands, Monsieur de Bobo, is the greatest buffoon in all Tucson? <laughs> really? Hmm. Thanks. Keep an eye out in that case. I'll see what you're selling. Won't Show me what you got behind the counter. Just some alcohol, some foods, some apple juice. Okay. Let's play some Gwent. Gwent? Maybe we could play around. Oh uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep using her. Oh my part of the Two or five, that's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, basically we're like five percent attack. Nothing changed, so we back. This is the double district. Yeah. I feel like I already see this. Okay. Artillery going on here. Well, you can't fog Saskia. Or whatever her dragon name is. You can't even pretend to pronounce that. You know what I mean? now. Just give me a nice little lead.
Oh, my God, she just passed it. Uh, yeah, we would. Some more power for some more power. Uh, shit, that rain is not gonna help me out. It's only gonna bring this down by seven. But I can. was I doing? I don't remember. Eh. That seems like the goodest place they need to head to. Hopefully they're not one of those death plants. Scrub off. You'll soon need the coffee. A day like all others. Greetings. So that's the Tufo Vineyard. So it must be in one of those buildings. Is this underground? You could make yourself useful. You! You, me, yes, me. Why are you oh, what? Well, I guess we're here so we can do the... What's your contracts? Tufo. Level 48. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Vlieging step! Wow, that's far away. Okay, that's way over there. Um, and... Where was the fine cows at? Up there? Okay. Long live Duquesa Anna Henrietta. Duquesa Anna Henrietta. Yes. A witcher. We could use one around here full time. Dude, that cat is mean hissing at me all the damn time. You'll frighten me, kitties. Huh. Ah! Yeah? What is it? Now, why does one summon a witcher, hmm? To inquire about the gossip currently flowing about the court? <laughs> I have a problem with a beast. Ah, you the one posted the notice? Go on then, spit it out. What's it about? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. First, my dear witcher, we must establish ground rules. Given the vast difference in our respective social positions, I'm sorry to say I take umbrage at the familiar tone you take. Rude. I expect rude. deference. I expect you to address me as Sir, or better yet, as Monsieur de Bourbeau. Yeah, fuck it. Fine. 
Monsieur de Bourbeau. Monsieur de Bourbeau. The emphasis falls on the last syllable. Bourbeau? Mm hmm. See, now I'd rather emphasize something else. Tell me what this is about, Monsieur, or I'll change my mind and go. Nortlings and their manners. Very well. Let us get this over with. Something has infested my vineyard. Mm hmm. Great. Let me go prepare my something oil then. I beg your pardon? Need more information than that. Where was this something seen? Any witnesses? Bodies to examine? Therein lies the rub. None has seen the beast. We've only heard signs of its presence. A strange scratching and shrieks. Neither are there any corpses to inspect. Men simply disappear without a trace. Who's disappeared, if you don't mind my asking? Mm, most recently some farmhand, I believe. Despite the vast difference in your social statuses, do you perchance remember the farmhand's name, monsieur? No. You must speak to my wife. She has more collegial relations with this household help. She's away at the moment visiting her mother, but should return forthwith. Noises you mentioned. Where do they come from? Well, everywhere. But they're most clearly audible in the wine cellar. Means the monster must dwell underground. Hmm. When are the noises loudest? In the night, just as they were years ago, when the buildings quaked. Huh. Another expert agreed to look into the matter then, but was never thereafter seen nor heard of. Oh, that should suffice with the questions. Now tell me, will you take the contract? Yay or nay? Let's talk money, though. Depends. What kind of reward are we this talking about? Hmm. Fine. Seems I must take the loss. Agreed. Fine. I'll do it. Need to look around here first. Then I'll want to talk to Madame de Bourbeau. Very well. I shall inform you once she has returned. Meanwhile, the key to the cellar. Just... Whatever you do, please do not disturb the wine barrels. Well, I'm not going to do this quest yet. However, I am going to put a marker... So I can remember to try to see if I can actually run into that guy and fight him. Unless, of course... That's him right there. Keep calm! Start no crawls! What's going on there? I am not you soul, but do you know any who's not heard of our wines? Another broken castle. I like those. You know what gear I wish was better in this game? The Viper gear. That stuff looks cool. But it's just kind of underwhelming, you know? Yeah, and I probably should be riding my horse, Roach, but fuck it. Hear me say that a lot, but fuck it, man. Why make things easier when I can? Oh, 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 holy shit! Almost jumped into there. Okay, now that I just reminded me, let's let's save real quick. Cause I don't want to accidentally jump to my death again. Ooh, blacksmith, let's see what he's peddling. You don't look like a quarryman to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammers, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. You always this personable? Or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Hmm. Sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here. Part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something, twists an ankle, or their neck. And everyone is uh, tattooed in this game. You guys notice that? Craft something for me, will you? 
Let's see what level craftsman this guy is. He's a journeyman. Okay, I don't want to craft components. Half. Yeah, I already have the highest level sword. Man, I think I still have them on me. Shit, I'm gonna have to check. And runes, okay. Repair. Yeah, okay. Feline steel sword. That guy's still sword. 97, 97, 92, 92. Yeah, they're fine. Crafting shop. What do you sell here? Nothing I care about, right? To go. Farewell. What they call it, blasting devils? Are you doing, man? What plague? An unfortunate turn of offense, that's all. Get back to chiseling! If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infestor will twist my plums off! Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? <laughs> this, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some Hello. mage or warlock. What happened here? Look! It's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something. An exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with a cow. Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed. And a horrid one. So, hello everyone. Uh, so my uh, recording device crashed in the middle of the cutscene talking to this guy. And talking to the other guys up there but basically um flying cows come from the sky one died somewhere near somewhere around here ending a or cutting off a quarry so they could no longer you know use it and that quarry is probably filled with necrophages all right let's hope i don't crash again because that was very annoying and come i do back. apologize about that here to clear up the mystery of the cow after all What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master. Will you look into it? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt, has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Yep. Yes, I, I need will. need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good hackle. So how much would you take? Uh, that. Mm. You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. Okay. Mm. You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. Three hundred and fifty? Hmm. Oh, you oh must... God, really? Fine. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. Fine. I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny aplenty. 
I shall keep an eye out for your return. All right, let's go bovine blues. But first. Okay, he didn't get mad about that stealing. That's good. 